Right, it's still good morning, Anambra, and uh, this time around we'll be looking at Bishop's Carol 2018. What is it all about, please? We have a guest already in the studio, Dr. George Franklin Ume, who is the initiator, uh, coordinator, Bishop's Carol. Uh, Dr. George, glad to have you in the studio once again. Thank you so much. Mm. How was your weekend? Very wonderful. <laughs> it's good. He knows, he knows I'm actually not... Um, <laughs> right, let me say that, right? Well, we know it's the Christmas season and uh, everyone is... Um, it's having one program or the other. We, we know we have Christmas Carol. Yes. And now we just learned... I think you just saying for the first time. Bishop's Carol. Bishop's Carol. Another dimension <laughs> you know, of so, Christmas Carol. <laughs> so, so really want to know more about the judge. It's good to have you around. So yeah. just quickly tell us straight up. Bishop's okay. Carol 2018, what is it about? It's really a very wonderful um, carol. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a very wonderful because it has not come. It's yet to come. And it's just tomorrow. Just, just tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay. December 11, Tuesday 11th. And I promise you, it's, it's going to be the biggest carol. You, you know, why the name? You know, when I saw okay. <laughs> Bishop's Carol, yeah. I was like, is it bishops will be singing carols <laughs> for us? You know, let's know about it. Oh, wonderful. Mm. It, it, it's that it's Bishop's Carol because it's, it's a forum for the youths. And with Bishop being at the helm of affairs, this is a forum for all the Catholic secondary schools in our diocese. And, uh, and it has been organized in such a way that all the secondary schools in our diocese will come together. Imagine that. We have 40 schools, 40 secondary schools in our diocese, and the 40 schools will be participating. Imagine the number. So, all of them coming together, it has been arranged that the bishop will be there. We have the three bishops sitting down to enjoy this wonderful thing is to be a joyful singing reunion of the youths with the bishop so that is the so, bishop's carol so basically <laughs> th this carol is all about a carol that is being organized for the bishop for the bishop okay and yes so, and it becomes the bishop's carol all right so is, is it something that um you're just starting this year or is something that has been happening no no, no no this is just the maiden edition mm. okay and for sure it, it, it it's it's gonna be rolling on Okay. You know, you said it's uh, the, the program is um, for the Catholics, you know, so I, I would like to know yes. if um, I'm an Anglican, I can, can I attend the program, if I'm a Pentecostal, can I be part of the program, right, let's, can let's, I even be part of the carol? Let's, let's, yes. let's, let's take this call, maybe someone wants to ask open. a question. Okay, the door is wide, wide open. open. All, right. All right. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. <laughs> I think these are kids calling us here. Please, let's roll, you know. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm talking about 2018 uh, Bishop's Carol, yeah. you know, what are your expectations? Oh. And for people coming for the program, yeah. what do they expect to see? Well, number one, at least, the, the sound, Carol, will, will tell you it's about singing. But it's prom it, I, I promise you, it's, it's going to be a very wonderful presentation from the kids. We need to catch them young. And you know, it's, that, that, that's, that has been a, a platform for that. We organized 2016 a singing competition for all of them. And we got the best, those who took first, second, third for the boys category, girls category, and the mixed school. So we have nine choirs that qualified for the three uh, positions. And then we have nine carols from, coming from the nine schools. All right, so tell us the uh, 2018 Bishop's Carol. What mm -hmm. time is it taking place tomorrow? At it's the taking venue? time 12, exactly, 12 noon, Trump, mm -hmm. at the new cathedral, St. Patrick's Cathedral, Oka. Okay. Yeah, St. And, and, and we have many other entertaining things, comedians, mm -hmm. cultural dances, you know, and, and a lot of entertaining things. Tell us all about them. You know, look at your <laughs> flyers uh, on the screen, you know. Yes. We've seen your picture and the uh, wonderful bishops there mm -hmm. with another person. So tell us uh, what you will feature apart from the 
Catholic secondary school choirs mm -hmm. that will be singing mm -hmm. in that show, you know, yes. who again is coming and what are they doing at that uh, Oh, that is one that we, we can see from the heading. You see the Angelic Voices Foundation. That's my foundation. That's, that's my foundation. And I'm organizing it in collaboration with Okada Asisan Catholic Education Commission. So the Angelic Voices will also be there to trail, you know, and we have a lot of features in the foundation. So the comedians there, and uh, we have uh, just Anything you can think of that is entertaining. So you, Come. You, you actually started the. Um, okay, let's take this call. Hello, good morning. All right. Wow. Now yes. you 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 are seated on uh, Good Morning Adam Brush uh, this morning. You came to the media. Yes. You know, and I know that when you go to the media, this is a huge uh, publicity you're giving this show. Good. How ready are you for the 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 guests that will troop in? Hi. You know, that will turn out. <laughs> that will turn out for the event. I tell you with every confidence that. The, the, the planning committee is more than ready for the guests, you're, you're for our so visitors. Sure and so very, very confident. Because you should know that coming to ABS, coming online, coming on, on TV to talk about it, then you're not expecting 10 people, you're not expecting 20. I'm, I'm, I'm expecting 5,000, and I'm ready for that. Are you really going to accommodate 5,000? Uh, yes, <laughs> ready for that. Okay. And I want people to come. As Andy said, Anglican or Pentecostal, the, the door is wide open. Just come and see. Hello. There's no big deal. Right. Right. Come maybe, maybe this person has a question for you. Hello, good morning. Yeah, good. Good morning. Good, good morning, morning to you. Your name and location. Good yes, good morning. Your name and location. Good morning. Good morning. Your name and location. Oh, all right, now, George, of... let me ask you this question. You know, you said this program, mm. it said, Youths Welcome the, the new Newborn King. king. Yeah. That's the theme of this program. Yeah. Could you tell us more about this theme? Okay. Youths, Youths welcome, welcome the Newborn King. Re uh, really, it was well thought out. Because uh, Youths Welcome the Newborn King with the rate of immorality in this country in the in the in the world not just in the country immorality in the world you see many th many ugly things we see in the facebook in the whatsapp and whatever whatever the world is really turning into something else and we want to use this medium to call back you know that spirit of you know spirituality morality to really upgrade the downtrodden morality All right, that's it Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. I'm so glad to hear that. You yes. know, really to to because see, to he, bring them up yes. to the downtrodden morality. Yes. All right. That's a very good one. Okay. Now, mm. uh, when you talk about youth, do we have age brackets that are expected to come for the program? No. Because when you talk about youth, somebody. Somebody that's uh, 45 and say that married with children and say, I'm no longer a youth. Tell mm. us uh, the age, if you have age range to attend the program. There is no age range. We, we just have the schools, the choirs as entertainers. But the door is wide open for both adults and the youths. Though the youths are the platform, they are the base, you know, the, that's the bedrock. But we have to flavor it with the adults because their parents should be there. Okay. to see their children perform all right it uh, really encourage them so it's it's is the carol going to be um more of like a competition because no you, you, we you, have you done the competition about... already so this is just a show come and give us your best okay. the, the songs are not the same at all the songs are, are not at all the same there is no clash at all in any way so they are singing different 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 songs which have been vetted Okay. So, there is no repetition of any song, so that's nothing like competition. You just sing different, different varieties of songs. That is very thrilling. Okay. Uh, all right, look, taking a look at this, your hand bill once again, okay. there's something that has caught my attention, really. Uh, the Angelic Voices Voice Foundation. Foundation. Yes. And uh, at this point, we'd like to know what actually informed your decision, you know, to really 
keep bringing these youths together? And what do you intend to achieve at the end? Please tell us. Oh, wonderful. The Angelic Voices Foundation uh, is my uh, creativity, is my concept, and uh, it was born out of the passion, born out of the passion to really see a better society, a better society of musicians, not just choristers but musicians. You know, we train people in different fields of music, which we are also trainers. And so we train people and we encourage youths to really be free, to really discover their inner talent. When you talk about that, was it, was it, was it a passion for music? Are you, are you a musician? I'm a musician. Okay. I'm a producer. Okay. I'm a lecturer too. I'm a lecturer too. <laughs> well, not a lecturer in music. Not a lecturer in music. Just for part. I'm a lecturer in philosophy. Okay. But I so, do music. So music thing Practical was music. Okay. It's just my passion. So and has, that passion has been driving me to create the foundation. So how long has the foundation been in existence? Five years. Five years? Yes. Because with that, I have organized the singing competition 2016. And the same foundation partnered with UABS last year to do the Igbo cultural Christmas, Christmas carol. That, okay, that was that was fantastic. Big bar was last like, year. So yes. the same foundation partnered with you, ABS, to do the Christmas carol last year. It was, it was cultural yes, it was fantastic. I, I, and this I, I year we are coming out again with the bishops. So every year the foundation keeps coming up with new new concepts. Now this bishops carol is the maiden edition. Maiden you know, edition. Maiden edition. What actually informed your decision to really uh, bring this one, you know, having had the foundation, the Angelic Voices Foundation, this time around, you're coming up with something new, new. Bishop's Carol. Mm -hmm. You know, what informed the, uh, the decision and the name to tag this name? To tag this name? Yeah. <laughs> really, I, I wanted the, the, the bishops to be more involved in the youth affairs, musically. I wanted the bishops to be more involved because it, just like last year or other years, the bishop really uh, 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 has not been showing maybe much interest because they will take it as just like one of those things, the simple event. But last year, I, I convinced the bishop to come for your own carol, Bishop Ezo Kafo, and he was there. And he did the opening prayer and stayed uh, to almost to the end. And to make him more and more involved, in this act of carol, you know, because they, they said, he who sings well, prays twice. He who sings well, prays twice. And this is now the bishop as a symbol of uh, representing our spiritual life. So let him be there as the chairman, and then we will together sing and praise God. Mm, that's a wonderful Yes. Place, <laughs> All right. Now, uh, you know, before we begin to round up, tell our people more. Uh, the event where it's happening, the date, and of course, how they can get to the venue of the, the okay. program. I say it again, our viewers, uh, this event is taking place tomorrow. The Bishop's Carol is taking place tomorrow, 11th December, Tuesday, just tomorrow. There at the new cathedral, it's, it's not uh, hard to, to find. Just if you're coming from on nature, you just stop at uh, Regina Chile Junction, Regina Chile Junction, and then take your right. If you're coming from Enugu, you stop also at the same I Neck Road or Regina Junction, and then cross over the other side, and then you find the new cathedral. It's just there along the road. It's not difficult to find. So you're basically promising anyone who comes tomorrow never a dull moment? At all, from beginning to the end. And it's beginning 12 on the dot. No African time, please. <laughs> no, this is not Africa or European time. This is All right, and I know, I know rice, yeah. rice and stew will be very, very plenty. plenty. All right. <laughs> <laughs> would like to appreciate you, Dr. George uh, Franklin Ume, the initiator, coordinator of Bishop's Carol. And of course, you are the, the founder of um, Angelic Voices, Angelic Voices Foundation. Foundation. Thank you so much Thank for you. joining us on the show this morning. And you too. Mm -hmm. Always happy to be with you. <laughs> All right. So let's go. Bishop um, Carol. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Be right. there. Please. 12, 12, 12, 12. <laughs>
I'm just coming to eat the rice, let me tell you. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be back after this to bring you more on Good Morning Anambra. Don't go anywhere.